hello students welcome back to our channel today we are going to talk about weeds its harmful effects and beneficial effects okay weeds its harmful effect and its beneficial effect so whatever plants we are uh, watching or we are uh, in day to day life uh, observing in our surrounding those plants are being classified into some plants we are domesticating them we are getting some output or we are getting some economic benefits from them those are called crop plants okay they require specific environment and we are more concerned about these crop plants okay we are domesticating them we are giving them different resources we are giving them optimum condition for their growth those are grouped into crop plants again some plants are there which are unwanted which are uninvited guest in our crop field those are known as weeds okay then another plants are wild plants so basically dewitt and harlan in 1975 they grouped plants into three different categories one is crop plant that is our domesticated plant weeds those are unwanted plants in our crop field then wild plants agriculture practice generally it aims it aims to provide suitable environment and provide optimum resources to domesticated plants or our crop plants so what is agriculture in agriculture we are providing certain environment we are providing optimum resources to our desired plant that is crop plant to get maximum output but weeds are the unwanted guest or unwanted plants which are uh, one among the five major agricultural pest what are the five major agricultural pest one is insect pest second one is plant pathogens like fungi bacteria virus nematode micro plasma like organisms such as mlos then weeds then vertebrates like birds rats rodents etc and mollusks like snail and slug these are the five major pest pest means any organism that is affecting or reducing the yield or quality so among these five type of agricultural pest weed is among one of them okay weed is one of these five types of agricultural pest why we are we should more concern about weeds because they indirectly affect yes they directly as well as indirectly affect the crop and they silently take up the resources that is limited and that is available for the crop okay so uh, if we say annual crop loss due to different agricultural pests then weed causes maximum crop loss that is around 45% insect causes 30% of crop loss disease causes 20% crop loss and due to other factors 5% crop loss so weed causes maximum crop loss so we have to more concern about weeds okay the word weed the word or the term weed that seems to originated from german word weight w e y t german word weight dutch word weight w w e t belgian word weight w w e d t okay so weed term it was basically derived from either german word weight dutch word weight belgian word weight first person who used the term weed was jethro tull jethro tull he is uh, a pioneer ma man and he is a very good researcher in the earlier period so he was the man who first used the term weed in his book horse hoeing husbandry jethro tull written one book that is the famous horse hoeing husbandry and there he mentioned about weed so there are different organization and different scientists they define weed in different way so let's see uh, one by one one is weed science society of america weed science society of america defined weed as the plants growing where they where and when they are not desired at a particular time if any plant that is undesirable at that particular place and at that particular time then that is called weed that is this definition was provided by weed science society of america then harlan and dewitt in 1965 proposed that weed is generally one unwanted organism which thrives in habitat that is disturbed by man okay weeds are generally grown where there is man interference where we are disturbing the soil they are only weeds grow that was proposed by harlan and dewitt then rade macher in 1959 proposed that weeds are the plants which do more harm than good weeds are the plants which do more harm than good okay so let's see uh, some harmful effects of weeds weeds like rademacher 
uh, he proposed weeds do more harm than good so let's first discuss what are the harmful effects of weeds okay what are the harmful effects of weeds the degree of loss due to weeds depends on what type of weed or which species of weed we find in our crop field what is the severity of infestation or what is the density of the weed in that community then duration of infestation for how long that weed infestation is there then competitive ability of the crop plant with weeds then climatic condition and what are the factors different factors in that is affecting the crop weed ecosystem so these are certain uh, criteria or these are certain uh, factors which affects the crop weed competition or the severity of the uh, crop loss okay then uh, first point is reduction in crop weed crop yield okay if there is weed infestation in crop weed ecosystem there is of course reduction in yield we can find how the reduction happen how the how there will be reduction in yield by the competition uh, of weeds with the crop plants by the competition with when co competition happens competition happen when the resource availability is scarce and when the plants they are growing together suppose uh, here per se crop as well as weed they require the similar resources they require the similar resources but the resource is scarce the combined demand of resource that is more than the availability of resources what are those resources that is needed by the crop and weeds those are nutrient water space carbon dioxide oxygen etc then again through lodging of crop okay if weed infestation is uh, more then there will be lodging effect mostly seen in cereals like uh, if the crop is infested with phalaris minor then wheat lodging in wheat we can find then echinocula species if there is more infestation of echinocula then lodging in rice we can see then uh, due to allelopathic effect certain weeds what they do they secrete certain allelo chemicals that are those are the harmful chemicals that is having inhibitory effect on surrounding crop those are called allelo chemicals and they are secreted from weeds okay and they affect the uh, and they reduce the yield of surrounding plant or surrounding crop then second point is reduction in quality of produce whatever produce we are getting from the crop if there is infestation of heavy infestation of weeds then there will be reduction in quality of that crop let's see some examples suppose there is contamination or presence of weed seeds in crop seeds that will reduce the market value of that crop seed suppose avena fatua this is a major weed in oats and also in wheat so if its seed mixed with the oat seed then there will be a market demand will be less okay then weeds mixed with leafy vegetable suppose some uh, plants or some crops we are taking as leafy vegetable means we are consuming it as raw or we are uh, cooking it uh, the leaves we are cooking cooking and consuming that so if there is mixture of weeds weed leaf of weeds then that will uh, have an unpalatable and unacceptable flavor or taste okay like chicorium intibus in, in bursim it is mostly the weed chicorium or chicory that is mostly found find in bursim crop so bursim as we know this is used as fodder crop or that is consumed by different cattle then if there is infestation of chicory in bursim and mixed uh, these weeds are mixed with the bursim of uh, bursim uh, dry matter then that will not be acceptable by different cattle okay then ipomia like that ipomia species in pearl millet if there is heavy infestation of ipomia and the mixture of the foliage of ipomia in pearl millet then that will be unacceptable then loranthos that is dendrophthe falcata reduces the quality of tea loranthos that is mostly found in tea uh, garden or tea estate so if there is heavy infestation that will reduce the quality of tea then striga litura agenesia indica they reduces the quality of sugarcane juice okay sircium arvens that impair the oil quality of mint leaf okay that is mentha arvensis so these are certain example by which in which we are trying to say that uh, the quality of the produce the quality of the agriculture produce is also affected by weed infestation then there is reduction in the quality of animal produce also suppose uh, some weed flora is dominated in our crop field and uh, <clears throat> certain weed flora if animal consume them okay then the produce of the animal that will degrade or the quality of the animal produce is also degraded uh, again uh, suppose there are certain thorny weeds are there okay 
there are certain thorny woods are there like acaranthus aspera janthium strumarium so uh, they are fruit they are having hook type fruits okay so if they entangle with the wool or uh, wool of the sheep and uh, so they will reduce the quality of the wool okay if those fruits having hook like structure if they uh, if they uh, attach with the wool okay of the sheep then they reduce the quality of the wool okay then excess feeding of wild onion that is asphodelus tenuifolius by cows if the cows they consume excess uh, this weed wild onion asphodelus tenuifolius then there will be a bad smell in the milk of the cow okay then if the uh, cow consume parthenium hysterophorus in excess quantity then the milk become bitter okay the milk milk become bitter in taste so uh, these are certain uh, reduction in the quality of animal produce if they consume different types of uh, harmful weeds then uh, weeds also harbor different insect pest pathogens nematode and act as alternate host weeds they act as alternate host for different uh, pathogens different crop pests okay so let's say uh, let's see some examples like sencros ciliaris this is one weed that is act as alternate host of ergot disease in bajra okay sencros ciliaris that is one weed that act as alternate host for ergot disease of bajra then comelina bengalensis another weed that inhabits nematodes in banana plantation agropyron ripen one weed is there that is act, acting as alternate host in black rust of wheat okay then echinoclast species or panicum species act as alternate host for stem borer in rice chinopodium album that is acting as alternate host for silk uh, stock borer in maize and cutworm in tomato then crotularia species act as alternate host for hairy caterpillar in castor okay so basically they are acting as the alternate host for different pests and pathogens then they increase cost of production okay if there is weed infestation in our crop field what happens our machinery will not act properly we cannot manage the crop properly because there are weeds presence of weeds is there so there will be higher cost involved in weed control either manually or by herbicide application then it will uh, it will reduce in economic and aesthetic value of land and water if there is more weed flora uh, or weed infestation in different lands and water bodies then there will be reduction of the economic value of the land or reduction the reduction of the aesthetic value of the land and water bodies as well so if the, there is heavy infestation of uh, like uh, suppose uh, different aquatic weeds in ponds or lakes then uh, you can find the legs will not be uh, looks aesthetic right so it reduces the aesthetic value then reduction of human efficiency in our agriculture activity if there is there are certain weeds present then that will reduce the human efficiency like suppose harvesting or cultivation practices become difficult when the field is infested with field bind weed convolvulus arvensis and morning glory ipomia species so what happens in case of if you see field bindweed or convolvulus arvensis there are different tendrils they actually uh, move uh, around the crop plant so they they become closely associated with the crop plant and that is very difficult to remove these weeds from the crop plants okay so uh, it is very difficult it becomes very difficult to uh, harvest that crop right then there are certain weeds like cowes that is mucuna pruriens sircium arvens parthenium species uh, when uh, the labor come in contact with these weeds then there will be itching effect or dermatitis effect so uh, that is that will having itching and inflammation in labor so uh, that will also uh, reduce the efficiency of the laborers then there is certain health hazard for man and other terrestrial animals if they uh, come close contact with the weeds with certain weeds right uh, like seeds of corn cocoa that is agrostema githago darnel that is lolium temulentum temulentum and certain species of senecio vulgaris if these seeds are mixed with wheat seed then uh, they they become poisonous if then they become poisonous the wheat flour or bread that is becoming poisonous then if mexican poppy that is argimon mexican seed if it is mixed with a mustard oil then that uh, that is also causing different syndromes like dropsy then blindness even death due to alkaloid present that is called sanguinarin and 11 oxa 
ट्रायोकंटेनोइक एसिड सो मेक्सिकन पॉपी सीड्स दैट इज आर्जिमन मेक्सिकन सीड्स दे कंटेन सम सर्टन अल्कालॉयड दैट इज सैंग्विनरिन एंड इलेवेन ऑक्सा ट्रायोकंटेनोइक एसिड सो इफ दे मिक्सड विथ अ मस्टर्ड ऑयल इफ दे मिक्सड विथ अ मस्टर्ड ऑयल दैट दैट कजेस ड्रॉपसी सिंड्रोम देन ब्लाइंडनेस एंड इवन दैट मे कज डेथ अफ द ह्यूमेन बींग रईट देन इफ सर्टन कैटल दे कंज्यूम द आर्जिम सीड आर्जिम मेक्सिकाना दे कंज्यूम द मेक्सिकन पपी और आर्जिम मेक्सिकाना देन इफ वी कंज्यूम द मिल्क ऑफ दैट कैटल देन देर मे बी सम सिंड्रोम कल ग्लाउकोमा इन ह्यूमेन ग्लाउकोमा सिंड्रोम उल बी देयर राइट देन पार्थेनियम हिस्टोपोरेस कजेस कंटैक्ट डरमाइटिस एक्जेमाटोएड डरमाटिटिस ब्रोकाइटिस और आस्थमा राइनिटिस और हे फिव सेप्टिसेमिया दिज आर सर्टन डिजिजेस इफ there will be close contact with the parthenium hysterophorus weed okay so then excess consumption of nitrophilus weeds suppose nitrophilus weed means which weeds they contain more nitrogen right like amaranthus okay uh, so if certain uh, animals they consume more amaranthus species then it may cause ammonia toxicity that is methemoglobinemia in the animals okay then there are certain ha- hazardous hazard to the aquatic animals suppose excess weeds are uh, grown in the aquatic ecosystem excess weeds are grown in the aquatic ecosystem what will happen those weeds will consume the dissolved oxygen those weed root of those weeds they will consume the dissolved oxygen so aquatic animals they become suffocated due to lack of oxygen they become suffocated then there may be death of the aquatic animals so in that way they they are hazardous to aquatic animals also then there will be limited choice of crop if there is heavy infestation of the weeds in our crop field then we cannot grow many crops or we cannot use the land properly then fire hazards and visibility uh, hinders due to the road side weeds right suppose let's say lantana camara one weed is called lantana camara it can even it green, if in at green stage it can uh, catch fire so uh, the different types of forest fire and as well as road side fires Uh, are caused by d- this weed that is called lantana camara due to vigorous growth uh, uh, there is visibility issue along uh, along the road side as well as um, uh, the railway tracks and it causes different accidents right so these were uh, uh, certain harmful effects of weeds we talked about so let's say uh, let's discuss certain beneficial effects of weeds weeds not only cause harmful effects uh, every weed has certain beneficial effects also okay so that beneficial aspect of weed that is called or that beneficial effect of any plant that is called ethnobotany so weeds are not only harmful they may be uh, there is certain beneficial effects of certain weeds right so let's discuss one by one so weeds may be used as food for human weeds may be used as food or weeds may be directly consumed as food for human suppose uh, for example the chinopodium album amaranthus viridis trianthema digera species alternanthera species there are so many species uh, that can be used for um, human uh, food okay then certain weeds they are they can be used uh, as feed or fodder for animals like amaranthus trianthema echinocloa phalaris avena these are certain weeds they can be directly consumed as animal feed then certain weeds they prevent soil erosion like agropyrone repent sanodon dactylon imperator cylindrica due to their profuse root system so when the root system is profuse they binds more soil in their root system so the impact of rain drop the impact of run off is very less and the erosion is very less due to the binding of the uh, root of the weeds in the soil okay so they prevent soil erosion then certain weeds we can use as green manuring composting and mulching like tephrosia croton ekornia pistia ipomia calotropis they are very tender weeds and they can be easily decomposed and they can be easily used for manuring right then certain weeds they are uh, having nitrogen fixation capability and they can use in nutrient recycling like melilotus medicago trigonella anamena nostoc they are having nitrogen fixation ability and they can be used to en- enrich the soil health soil quality right then in some weeds we can use as indicator plants for nutrient deficiency like for potassium deficiency we can use chrysanthemum uh, okay then for phosphorus deficiency we can use 
uh, Chinopodium album. So basically, what are the indicator plants? Indicator plants means uh, if the nutrient is deficient in an area, in an uh, in in area particularly. So if we are growing that plant, that is very sensitive to that deficiency symptom. So uh, before all plants they show deficient symptom, that plant will show deficient symptom earlier, so that we can correct that soil by applying externally the that particular nutrient through different fertilizer or manure, right? So weeds can act as indicator plants also. Then weeds can be used uh, in cottage industry, in thatching, in rope making, rope making like typha, saccharum. These are certain weeds. They are used in cottage industry, thatching as well as rope making. Then dry shoots used in making mats. Suppose uh, some weeds like Cypress tragedum and Clinogyne dichotoma. They can be used for um, preparing mats. Then uh, roots used for adding flavor in coffee powder like in chicorium in tibus. Uh, you can find in the uh, coffee uh, coffee bottle itself there is a certain um, you can find that is written that uh, it contains chicorium in tibus like five percent or something like that so you can find that so it is added uh, flavor to the coffee powder then important genetic resources for plant breeding to develop resistant variety so remember one thing before uh, we domesticate any plant that that is weed for us okay so after its importance after we uh, uh, discover its importance after that we are uh, taking care of the plant uh, for and we are providing uh, optimum resources to that plant they become domesticated plant or they become crop plant so Every weed has its uh, own uh, capability. Weeds are more, uh, uh, more, uh, you know, tolerant to different uh, pests as well as diseases. They can tolerate to different, you know, moisture stress and different type of stress in the environment. So, if we can uh, use those uh, genes, if we can use those genes of the weeds which are having tolerating ability, okay? If we can insert those genes of weeds in crop plants, we can develop new varieties which are which will have the tolerating ability so uh, so they can be used as genetic resources for uh, you know developing different resistant variety like saccharum spontaneum uh, solanum torgidum they are already used okay then some weeds having nematicidal properties okay like crotularia parthenium uh, calotropis aconia if we grow these weeds there will be uh, they will kill the nematodes that is harmful for the for different crops of course so uh, certain weeds they are having reclamation effect in alkali so alkali soil what is alkali soil alkali soil means uh, there is more sodium or sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate is there and the ph is uh, more than 8.5 so that soil we can call it as alkali soil uh, some uh, weeds are there they can reclaim this alkali soil that means they can reduce the ph in the alkali soil that is argimon mexicana is one example then some weeds we can use as pollution indicator like Stellaria media, Aconia crassibus. These weeds are used for pollution indicator. Some weeds we can use for beautification like Lantana camera, Aconia crassibus. These weeds we can use for beautification. Then some weeds we can extract aromatic oil from these weeds like Andropogon species, Symbopogon species. Some weeds are having medicinal value like uh, suppose uh, some weeds causes cure snake bite like leucas aspera one weed is leucas aspera it can cure snake bite then some weeds uh, they uh, prevent uh, or they cure gastric trouble like calotropis procera some weed uh, they cure skin disorder like argimon mexicana some weed they uh, they cures jaundice like phylanthus neuri um, some weed they cures diabetic like striga or then some weeds that cures kidney disorder like Ayurva Lanata. So these were certain beneficial effects of weeds. So what we studied today in this lecture, we studied what is weeds, certain definition of weeds, certain harmful effects of weeds and certain beneficial effects of weeds. So uh, you just note, note them down in your, um, your theory notes, theory uh, copy so that uh, you can refer it later on. And if you face any doubt and if you want any specific lecture in our channel, you can uh, comment in comment below so that we can prepare that lecture. So uh, see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye bye. Have a great day.